An interesting area we get questions about all the time is the cheek and what kind of filler we like to use for the cheek. It's not so straightforward because the cheek has different parts. You've got the anterior cheek, which you have the under eye going down into the anterior soft cheek. You have the lateral cheek and you have the lower lateral cheek where it crosses over. The most common mistake I see with filling is any filler looks bad when you try to fill the cheek to get contour and you keep following it up this way. I always tell people stay in the confines of this little triangle or pyramid that you have here. When we're looking at the anterior cheek or under eye, my favorite by far, and there's no comparison to it, is the classic Restylane L. That is the old School. That is the one that's most commonly used, but it's also the best and the most time tested. There are other products for it. I just don't trust them as much and have no reason to use anything else if this works the best for me. You stay deep in that area, very small amounts. The product itself can change quality over the next 10 years and come to the surface. So always be cautious not to keep adding on to it. When we're looking at the lateral cheek, we have the bony lateral cheek and then we have the soft tissue part that comes down, which is the sub malar cheek or the sub zygomatic cheek. For the zygomatic bone, or the zygomatic arch, which is what you're trying to enhance, is this bone that goes over here. I like to use a firm filler. For that, we use Voluma. That's a great one for that area. Restylane Lift is a great one. Restylane Contour. Revaness has some new products too that are really, really nice for that area. I'm not a big fan of Radius just because it doesn't really have much benefit over the other ones and it causes little bits of calcification in the soft tissue if you get it there, but it is a place where you can use it if you wanted to. I just personally don't use it myself. When we look at this area that connects, that's the soft tissue. I love to use thick linear fillers like Restylane Define, Restylane Contour. Again, Voluma is really, really wonderful for that area too. So you can go fill the bone here and then come down and fill the soft tissue underneath. Being cautious of an artery that comes up here called the perforator of the transverse facial artery. It sits right here under the zygomaticus major muscle. If you hit that, you can cause a vascular occlusive event. Just caution when you do these things, they're not always fully safe unless it's done by a really, really trained practitioner. When we look at the anterior cheek down here, I advise patients in 90 plus percent of people don't fill them down here you're going to cause that weird heavy apple cheek and the cheek starts to slope away from the eye rather than being lifted so be very very careful the nasolabial fold itself tends to lift only when we inject the under eye not when we inject the lateral cheek so don't go trying to expand your face to lift this part